So one thing that I wanted to show today is how you can take a, an Integromat scenario and basically bulk edit variables inside of it. So for example, sometimes you need to refactor one of your scenarios and use a new source of data. So for this example, um, I had started off with just a just setting a variable where I just pull in, this is mostly for testing, um, and it was to just kind of pull in a specific uh, Slack URL and grab the, um, the different elements from inside of it. So basically it just split it out and then I could grab the channel and then grab the timestamp. And then here I was just breaking it out into two chunks because of the way that it was formatted. And so um, I have a, an API call that I'm using um, to, in this case, we're removing reactions from uh, something that I have going on. And I've got a series of five different uh, API calls that are going on. And what I wanna do is change in each of those the source of the channel and the timestamp. And so, yes, of course, I can go through and do that one by one. And if it's only five, it's not that big of a deal. But let's just say you have a very, you know, a much more complex one, um, complex scenario. And so in this example, I wanted to show you how, you know, maybe this will just spark an idea. But um, what you can do is if you shift select all these and then just use your, uh, Command C or Control C on a PC. Um, and then I pop into a text editor and then just paste it. Yes, it, it looks scary right now, but when I hop back here and then I'm gonna just grab one of these elements and copy it. So if I just do a shift, um, shift left arrow here, even though you can't see that it's selected, it actually is. So I'm gonna copy that real quick and then come in here. And if I do a search and I paste this, um, we should get something here. So now I can see where my, um, my elements are. And this is really just, you know, how everything is structured. So even if you wanted to fix all the IDs or things like that, um, this is one way you could do it um, in bulk. And so basically what I can do here then is um, for this example, I'm gonna find the one that I want and I want the channel from here. I pop over here and delete that. And again, I'm gonna shift and then arrow key and then command C so I can grab that. Um, so what I'm gonna do up here is replace that. So now I can just do a bulk replace and it's going to get rid of that for all those and then if i come back here and i want to grab these two things so in this case i'm just uh i like to use the keyboard because it's a little bit more accurate so you can also just grab it like that but then you have to really grab it in the right spot and then command c so this is going to be what we're finding so we have that and then we need to find what we're replacing it with. And in this case, it will be the thread ID. So I'll shift select that. Okay. So now I'm going to hit replace. And so if I uh, copy this in, I'm just grabbing everything. And then I'm just gonna get out of this and then just paste. So it pasted all my things in here. But now if I look in here, um, it will be looking at the channel ID and the last thread ID. And so, yes, maybe it's overkill for, <laughs> for only five modules, but um, it's actually kind of a quick way to uh, to do that when you have a bunch of different ones that you're trying to adapt um, and update. So in this case, I'm just going to grab these. I don't need these anymore. And then what I'll do is just get rid of these. I'm going to connect this and then delete the first module. 
And when you get this, you just need to delete it one more time. And now this is the beginning of my scenario. And so if I were to run this, it's going to pull from there. Oops. <laughs> so let's see here. Da -da -da. Oh, I've already run this, and so there was no reaction on that. But um, if that reaction was there, it'd be pulling from the correct spot there. We got our channel, our thread, and yeah. So try it out. Um, it's kind of cool that you can just copy and paste these modules as, as text, and then, yeah, just see see what this uh, sparks in your imagination. <laughs> anyway, till next time.